What is going on guys? Hope you guys are having a fantastic, dandy, fun, fabulous, great day, okay? I know I am because I'm about to sip on my coffee of the day because I haven't had coffee yet, which that's an actual lie because I had coffee two times if you're counting pre-workout. So this is the third coffee of the day. I'm gonna try this new drink I just got from Starbucks. It's the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso, something like that. So here goes nothing guys. Taste test in three, two, Wow, that is really good, guys. Check it out at Starbucks. And uh, I also got something else, which I probably shouldn't have got because it's a waste of calories, but I'm gonna have it anyway. So it's a little blue cake pop. And when I seen this little blue cake pop, I was like, I have to buy it because it's blue. So I probably wasted money and I'm wasting calories on it, but um, oh well. And it's chocolate inside, look at that. This video is going to be a little different than all my other videos because I had this idea to start this new little series for you guys. And I was thinking if you guys know Peter McKinnon, which I'm sure not a lot of people are going to know of him because this is a fitness channel and he is more photography and uh, video and production and editing and cool like movies type of things. He's more on that side of things. But if you do know him, you would know he does two minute Tuesdays. So I was like, huh, how can I kind of like take a twist on that and make it my own? So I came up with the idea of how about doing a five minute Friday? And that way I can give you guys little tutorials about how to do different things within the gym, maybe things with editing as well, how to edit photos or how I edit my photos or uh, maybe YouTube videos if you guys are interested in that or how I actually make my YouTube videos or just what goes into different things, just maybe eating macros, tracking food. I wanna cover all those little topics and Definitely drop a comment down below if you'd like me to cover a certain thing or do a certain topic for this little five minute Friday videos. I'm gonna start filming a lot of these for you guys. So definitely drop some comments and if you have an idea, let me know and I'll be sure to try my best to cover it and make a video if I think it makes the cut. So maybe it's something stupid like how to tie your shoes. If you guys don't know how to tie your shoes and that's all I get, maybe I'll make a video on how to tie how to how to tie shoes or maybe a video on how to talk because I clearly can't do that. This video is going to be the first one of the series so I hope you guys enjoy it and the topic if you couldn't tell from the title already is how to bench press. So I'm going to try to make the cut in five minutes so I'm going to throw up five minutes on the screen right now. Let's get into it guys. So you guys want to learn how to bench press. Well there's many steps involved but let's start with the basics. Okay, so first you're gonna wanna make sure you have proper foot setup. Now you don't want your feet too far in front or you don't want them too far back behind your body because that won't give you the best leverage and it won't make it that easy to actually use leg drive, which we're gonna cover and touch on in a little bit. But first, find a good position in between the two where you can feel the most pressure to actually activate your legs and you're the most stable. Make sure that you have a little bit of an arch in your lower back just so you can set up more properly, shorten your range of motion, and be more stable, and have a better, stronger bench. So as you've seen this example, my back's flat, and that's not what you want. Your shoulders will be a little bit more rolled forward, and it's just not optimal for bench pressing with the most strength behind it. So make sure to arch your back, guys. That's what she said. Now, we're gonna move on to actually getting the bar up and down. You want to make sure you keep your shoulders tucked and your scapula retracted, which is basically pinching your shoulder blades, pretending there's a pencil in between them and trying to hold it there. You don't want your head to come off like you see in this example and the shoulders start rolling forward. You don't want that because that's not going to give you the optimal stabilization and proper strength to actually lift the bar. And next, we're going to cover a hand setup. So make sure you set up comfortably. I'm a bigger guy, so I tend to set up with, with my hand placement a little wider than most people, but right now I'm going for a little bit more narrow grip than usual just to engage my triceps a little more since I have been focusing on building them right now. Make sure you keep that position consistent. That way you will be comfortable and always have a good strong bench press. As you can see, I'm keeping my shoulders back and tucked and pushing with my chest and locking out my triceps at the end. You do not want to do this, guys. That is called a death grip, where you don't use your thumbs, and the bar can easily roll off your palm and your wrist and land on your chest, and that can lead to injury. And overall, it's just gonna add more problems to your bench press, so break that habit if you start doing the death grip and start engaging those thumbs. Now, leg drive. 
you want to make sure you're pushing with your legs and driving as you push the bar up into the ground with your feet and make sure your butt does not come up in the process you want to make sure your butt maintains proper contact with the bench the entire time make sure you do not flare your elbows out too wide as you're benching and neither too narrow because if you have them too tucked that can put too much pressure on your shoulders and same with it too far flared so you want to have it in a neutral position somewhere around in the middle between the two rule of thumb just keep a 90 degrees in your elbows and 90 degrees on the whole way down and up and just kind of have your arms out to the side at a comfortable position have a friend to spot you and they can tell you if your form is a little bit quirky or not so that'll definitely help as well and make everything a little bit more fluid and remember to keep tension on the chest the entire duration of the time you're bench pressing from the moment you take that weight off of the rack and you bring it down to your chest and push it up make sure there's constant tension on your chest choose a weight comfortable enough for you to actually keep that tension and focus on squeezing your chest the entire motion on the way up and the way down and don't forget to engage your triceps guys triceps help for locking out so make sure they're properly engaged if you're having trouble locking out then it's probably a tricep issue so make sure to train your triceps to keep them optimized and lastly guys don't be that guy in the gym that's an ego lifter. Lift weight that you feel comfortable lifting, not something that's gonna leave you in a bad position, especially if there's no spotters, because that can end up very badly, as you see this dude right here thinks he's the shit, and uh, he's gonna learn his lesson. With that said, guys, I hope you guys learned a little bit more about benching now and how to do it properly with less chance of getting injured. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned a new thing or two about it, Leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay, guys? I appreciate it. And turn on those post notifications. Next video is going to be a vlog. So I'm going to be filming that for you tomorrow. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.